guys. Why? They put the house back on the market. Oh my gosh. So, I got an email this morning from the rental company down there in Florida. They said that they had to cancel the application and they put the house back on the market because they said that um, they didn't have a date in their system for the pre move out inspection and I sent the guy an email yesterday you know with the date but he said I don't know there's some kind of miscommunication so it's kind of it's very discouraging like and I'm upset like my eyes twitching <laughs> I'm upset because we we're so looking forward to moving into this house so what I did was Mesa Jaden Jaden too loud Jaden too loud so I um, I called the rental office here and I just told them you know that's the only thing that we're waiting for the only thing that we're waiting for this pre move out inspection you guys they're dragging their feet it's like y'all want this money or no like we about to sign this 12 month lease the housing market right now is uh, I'm just I'm stressing and I don't feel like I should be this should be an easy transition and I feel like honestly if it wasn't the same company we would have been approved already like this whole transfer step is ridiculous to me anyway so I'm waiting to hear back from the lady um, at the office here. She said she's going to call the maintenance department and see if they can put us at the top of the list for the inspection. Um, the guy at the Orlando office, he said that, um, you know, even though the house is back on the market, if we can get the information to them, the confirmation, the, the inspection completed before somebody else rents out the, that house, then we still have a chance. But I mean, like how, ugh. It's so stressful. It's so stressful, you guys. <sighs> of course, a part of me is thinking like, you know, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. But it feels, <laughs> it feels like it's for us. Like, it feels like it's for us. And we've already got attached to it because it's just, it's it fit us. And it's like my style. And it's, it's a new construction. Like, it's a brand new house. We'd be the first people living there. It has a fenced in yard. It's, you know, it's, it's nice. So when I got the email this morning, I was completely devastated and you know, I was upset and I emailed him. I was like, you know, what the heck is going on? Because we've done everything we needed to do. Um, and I'm not bashing the company. The company is really, really good. I think it has a lot to do with like people, the offices being short staffed, like somebody's dropping the ball because there's nobody working. So, I mean, the company that we are the, the company that we rent from is a really good company like I, there, I haven't had any issues with them at all so for this now to be an issue and especially after we've been here so long is like it hurts because you know we're ready we're ready to move and it's like <laughs> I don't know I have my phone here on notifications on a thousand so that I can hear anything that comes through. So the, the person that I talked to here, she is in charge of the, how, I don't know. She's the portfolio manager. So she's in charge of, you know, all the files and, and all that stuff. And she must be some kind of head honcho because she said she was gonna talk to maintenance directly, tell them to put us at the top of the list um, so we can get this thing going, so. <sighs> Pray for us, y'all. <laughs> Pray for us. Not even that we get the house, but this that just that, you know, whatever is supposed to happen happens. Because, you know, the house might not be for us. Even though we want it, it might not be for us. So we'll see. I will give you guys another update when I hear back from them. Right now I'm just trying to, you know, walk through a house do a house walkthrough myself and just trying to see you know what the inspector could talk about i know he's going to talk about that paint because i haven't painted yet but i feel like they got to well babe said they got to paint anyway but i just sometimes they overcharge for stuff and i don't want them to charge for overcharge for painting that room even though i have to paint the whole house 
um so i've been walking through i've been doing laundry i've been you know just looking for things that could be repaired um so yeah like i said i will give you guys an update in a little bit hopefully we hear something today i just checked the house is back on the market which sucks big time it sucks big time because i feel like it's a steal and somebody's gonna take it i feel it in my gut <laughs> i feel it but anyway let me get something to eat. i haven't eaten yet and it's time it's 12 it's after 12 o'clock be back y'all thank you so much for patiently waiting so um i did call over to that department and now did you receive a confirmation email from a yes um so she's actually going to be your contact person oh, okay. however there is nothing available any sooner than the 11th now i was told if you wanted to reschedule but it would be for a later date but there is nothing available any sooner okay i did speak to somebody in the main office and she was saying that it, she was going to call you guys and see if we could be pushed to the to the top of the list or expedited because you know it's the only thing that we're waiting for and our lease ends you know very soon and it's like the house they put back on the market um because uh you know that they, they said it has to be completed um before we have can you try to reach um have you tried to reach uh, no, I actually talked to somebody, uh, the portfolio manager over at the main office. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Did you speak to Yes, that's who it was. Okay, so, um, and Chris told you, what did she tell you to do? She said that she was going to call over to the maintenance department, I guess you guys, and she said that she was going to see if you guys could, expert, you know, uh, put us at the top of the list to expedite the process since the house had gone so on the market. Right. So that's the reason why you would need to contact Beverly. She's okay. actually the one that would be over that. Okay. So I reached out to that department and that was um, what I was told that you should have received a confirmation from Beverly. Yes, I did. Um, you would need to um, follow up with, but they did check the schedule to see if the... Um, walkthrough could be done any sooner and there's no availability um for monday and tuesday okay <sighs> okay um all right i'll give her i'll send her email and see if something i don't know we can work out something okay <sighs> all right thank you no problem well, you have a wonderful day you too bye-bye okay bye-bye this is crazy to me Hey, what's up, y'all? So we just got finished with the yard sale. It's the next day. Um, but we have some kind of good news. Um, so after speaking with a bunch of people from the rental company, we actually ended up getting the inspection moved up to Monday. So this Monday. And so far, the house is still on the market. Like, nobody has applied for it yet. So... <laughs> Just keep praying that it's still there for um, this Monday. So when we apply on Monday or when we call them and tell them that the inspection has been completed. So it'll be Monday at four o'clock. Um, and, you know, things don't have to be in complete order. It just needs to be completed. So, um, I mean, the inspection just needs to be completed. So, I mean, we still have a chance. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Um, we apply for the house on a Saturday. Now, I don't know what other people are doing. Hopefully, they're out and about and they're not looking for houses right now. And it'll still be there on Monday. I hope so. Um, I did email the guy at the Orlando office and tell him about the change. Um, and the date. He hasn't responded, which is weird because, well, it's not really weird. Any email that I sent him, he didn't respond. But I did talk to somebody at the Orlando office who had him call me and then we talked for a good little while he seemed like a nice guy i don't know he must be really busy um as to why he's not responding to my emails but 
Um, so I'll give him a call Monday morning and just let him know what, you know, what all is going on. And, you know, like I said, hopefully it's still there. Hopefully, you know, we get it. Especially because it's the last thing on the checklist to be done. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Uh, we just finished up with the yard sale. Uh, and it went okay. <laughs> it went okay. Um, but that'll be in the next video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all. <laughs>